I'm Barbara J. Graham, Abstract Expressionist Painter, and today I'm going to make a painting. Yeah, I made the mistake of looking at the news this morning, and with uh, Brexit, and Donald Trump, and right-wing extremism, it just feels like our country and Europe is gone back to the 1930s where it's okay to vilify huge swathes of the population based on where they come from or what language they speak or what religion they follow or the colour of their skin. Um, and as someone who is half German, um, this really resonates with me. There was a moment on Question Time last night uh, where Bonnie Greer, uh, the American playwright and author, uh, talked about a Polish friend of hers who lives in the UK and doesn't feel she can speak Polish on the bus to her seven-year-old daughter because she gets uh, abused. Abused by other people uh, who overhear their conversation. Uh, and um, that's horrific as far as I'm concerned uh, and as someone who uh, you know my mother is German um, and clearly in the 1970s it wasn't a good idea to speak German in public in the UK on public transport and as a result I've grown up not knowing how to speak German um, and similarly this Polish daughter is growing up not knowing how to speak Polish and I think that's absolutely tragic uh, so, um, yes, it just feels like there's no hope at the moment. Uh, this, the whole, you know, anyway, let's make a dark painting. Let's put all of that into a painting and hopefully have a ray of hope. So the colours I've chosen, unsurprisingly are going to be this really dark Prussian blue. Let's squeeze some of that out onto the plate. And then quinacridone crimson, which is uh, a really dark blood red. Uh, light portrait pink as a ray of hope. The idea is I'm going to do an, ov an overall dark composition, uh, but there's going to feel like there's some hope resonating out of the painting and coming through. I'm going to use some of these water pastels and oil pastels to kind of mark out. Sorry, you probably can't see this on the camera very well, but I'm putting white, a dirty white water, water soluble crayon. And sort of trying to create this intense moment of colour, or non-colour. It's a bit of grey there. That'll surround it. And that'll appear maybe through the dark paint, especially because it's an oil pastel. Gosh, these marks are really uh, tight, tight marks today. Okay, I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to go in with lots of dark, dark paint now. Look at that blue. Actually, I've made a mistake. What I need to do, so that I don't end up with a totally blue painting, I need to lay down some white and some of that pink first so that I don't end up with really hard edges. Let's put some of this in as well. So that is going to be shining through. See it's already picking up some of the blue there. It feels like it needs yellow as well. There's my bit of hope. Right let's back in with the blue. I don't know what you can see on the camera, I mean it probably looks quite black, but what I've got here is a sort of, you know, mixing this dark blue, dark red, Payne's grey and a little bit of yellow, and as a result I've got a green shade over here, and it's a blue shade up here, and it's a violet shade here, so although it sort of looks very dark and intense, it's full of colour, it's very, it's very luscious. So already my negativity is turning into positive. Okay, so now we have a start, and the plan is 
I'm now going to use all the kind of mark making language that I have to sort of create this I don't know it feels like maybe like sort of a, a black hole in reverse you know where light is emanating out of a dark space and everything's coming out and uh, gradually enveloping the darkness and turning it into light. Sounds naff. Um, let's see what happens. <laughs> So right now it's a mess, there's too many different things fighting for my attention and I'm not sure what it is that I need to be focusing on. This isn't working for me at all. I'm loving this bit and I'm loving this bit, I don't like that at all, so, so actually perhaps it's this top corner that's not working and I just need to go over that whole area. That's what I'll do. Something's happened that's making me like this all of a sudden. It's not the painting I set out to make, but there's something about it that's working now. It feels very modern, it feels very contemporary. It feels resolved, but there's lots of questions. It's interesting. And I feel a whole lot better about myself than I did a couple of hours ago. I hope you've got something useful from watching this video. Thank you very much for coming along on this journey with me. Like, subscribe. If you want to see this painting in its full glory, then head over to my website, www.barbarajgraham.co.uk. Um, let me know if you've got any questions. Write them in the comments and I will do my best to respond to them all.